Now I say it, yeah. Hawaii. Hawaii. <clears throat> but this band has been based here in Chicago for more than 30 years. Yeah, the group has a new album and some live shows coming up in the Chicago area. Here to tell us all about it, Poi Dog Pondering Band leader Frank Oral. Thank Hello, you so much everybody. for being here. Thank you. I have complicated here. playing in my head all day. Uh, <laughs> it's just stuck there. <laughs> yeah. You guys have been together for a hot second. Yeah, yeah. And your music keeps evolving. I mean, is, is that... Obviously, it's purposefully, but it's because you guys all kind of specialize in different genres? Exactly. I mean, I think also being a band for as long as we have, our musical interest keeps growing and, you know, kind of moving forward. And um, and then, but everybody has, like, uh, things that they do, their specialties, you know, whether it be, you know, and so their, their, their specialties kind of come into play, like arranging or, you know, rhythm, things like that. And so it's just sound evolves. We get excited by sounds that we, you know, new things that are happening in the music world and, and incorporate them into what we're doing. So what do you call your sound then? I don't know. That's a really hard one. I mean, I, you know, I've, I've, I sort of came up with this little moniker, Acoustronic. Acoustronic. Oh, yeah, yeah, because, yeah. you know, we, we um, but, you know, because we started out playing on the streets, so we started out playing acoustically, but then, you know, we got electric when you get into the venues, and then we got into some electronic music elements. But I think the the other big component is orchestral. I mean, you know, like the, the, the you know, uh, Paul Mertens and Susan Bells and Max Crawford, they all do beautiful arranging for, the, for and we're kind of a small orchestra, you know, yeah. so it's like a orches <laughs> orchestral tronic. Yeah, I, love that. I don't know. Yeah. Well, this day and age, Bands don't last as long as you guys do. How yeah. have you kept it together for so many years? Yeah, I mean, I, uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, it's everybody's personal passion. Yeah. You know, I, I feel at this point we have been a band for so long, had so many great adventures back and forth across the states and to Europe and and Japan and and um, and forged this bond. And then, you know, like it, like it, we're in it for the love of the camaraderie of the band and for the music. And um, and I feel like at this point, I feel like there's a lot of. Uh, dedication to just taking care of this thing that we've built, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, and yeah. keeping the integrity of it sound. Yeah. All right, so you got a new album out, yeah. uh, Keep On Loving Each Other. Yes. Tell us about it. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I'm, uh, I consider myself a Hyde Parker. I lived there for a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I remember I was riding in Hyde Park, and uh, and there was a, this, somebody did this big mural, so Keep On Loving Each Other, and I just, like, I was like, yes, that's a beautiful sentiment, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. And uh, so... Um, and that just sort of, you know, I ended up writing a song around it, uh, me and Cornell, and then, um, and then, it just became the title. It was like obvious when we were working on the record. That's the title. Okay, that's <laughs> yeah. the title. And yeah. I felt like it's a nice message to send out into the world in this divisive time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Is it still as fun to tour and, and get on on stage and play as it was, you know, 30 years ago? Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I mean, I think I think the band's in top form. You yeah. know, I mean, like everyone's. And on the top of their game, and top of their artistic thing, what they, what we do, individually, you know, in the in the writing and the performing, and then getting out and traveling, having mm -hmm. a nice adventure, going out and, you know, going to New York or San Francisco or Austin or Phoenix or wherever we go, and um, and then you, you get to have this little adventure together, mm -hmm. and then go do the shows and, you know, play for the people, which is the reason why we do what we do is is. I mean, I, I probably would not be a would not be making records if, if nobody was listening to them. That's oh, well, you know? yeah. Yeah. It's like a communication. Yeah, it's like a communication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, get the, get so you get out there, here. you get to feel that feeling. You know? yeah. yeah. You guys are so good live. So you guys have a couple of shows. Speaking yeah. of which, you got a couple of shows coming up. Talk yeah. about that. Yeah. I think one is uh, sure. uh, in Aus in um, Aurora. Aurora, August 26th, we're going to play um, at River Edge in Aurora. Uh huh. And then and you're in Evanston on May. Uh, this, uh, Saturday. Yeah, this Saturday. Yeah, this Saturday, we're going to do a small pared down th uh, thing at uh, Space mm -hmm. um, in Evanston. And then we're going to play at 3rd and Lindsley in Nashville on June 3rd. Cool. Yeah. Right, so so cool. people got op multiple opportunities multiple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. to catch you guys. <laughs> Frank, that is awesome. Frank, great talking Thank to you. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you for having us. We're going to get a performance. <laughs>